So after Card Kingdom made a, or the employees of Card Kingdom became a union, some things are going pretty wrong. So this is from an employee of Card Kingdom saying, as an employee of Card Kingdom, please do not support pre-ordering singles here. The work conditions are horrible. This is a long one, so I apologize for it in advance. Let me start out by saying that everything here is written in the hopes of improving conditions for all my hardworking co-workers. That and I also sign a NDA that hinders my speech, so forgive me if I leave out important details. I'm trying to avoid hyperbole so that people have a more accurate account. When I enjoyed the company of many of my coworkers, I haven't had a worse employer in 15 years. Card Kingdom has changed a lot over the past few years, but most notably are the past eight months. During that time, over 70% of the company has been fired, quit, and can't relocate with the company to Monroe, Washington in two weeks time. Most of the employees have been replaced by temps and Training to memorize additions has been dropped. If you noticed errors in your orders, it's likely because someone was undertrained and overworked. I will not be the only one to say that the company Card Kingdom treats its employees like expendable. Card Kingdom overworks its employees to a surprising amount. During each pre release event, Card Kingdom requires two weeks mandatory overtime. Wizard of the Coast has increased the rate of releases, and that means two weeks mandatory overtime with less and less time in between. Many people work 60-hour weeks for Lord of the Rings, Commander Masters, Wilds of the Eldrin, Doctor Who, Lost Caverns of Ixlon, Ravnica Remastered, and Murders at Carlo Manor. As a union, we finally were able to stop Card Kingdom from taking our PTO away from us, if we couldn't work overtime. Specifically, employees were forced to use PTO to cover mandatory overtime hours. They could not work. So what are they getting? So small side, this is me talking. Uh, what are they getting overtime, which is time and a half? Um, because, yeah, that would be actually a really good use of PTO, right? You could trade it in for time and a half. Anyway, uh, P Card Kingdom charges PTO for sick leave. You cannot take a sick day if you do not have PTO. If you call out sick without PTO, you will be written up. Two write-ups disqualifies you from being able to apply for promotions, and free is termination. Thus, people have been getting fired for calling out sick more than the PTO they had available, regardless of how legitimate their sickness is. I think one of the best examples of Card Kingdom's treatment of employees was over the New Year's holiday. Mandatory overtime was required for Ravnica Remastered. And even though we received a paid holiday off, it didn't count towards our 40 hours worked, and we didn't receive overtime pay during that mandatory overtime week. So hold on. Um, even though we received a paid holiday off. I'm not sure what that means. My suggestion and request is that customers do not order pre-release singles from Card Kingdom. The cards will still be available to people, but pre-ordering drives up the cost of cards and tells the CK executives that they should require more overtime hours. Card Kingdom is a shipping distributor that needs to make more and more money to cover the increasing investment that the company is making. Don't conflate a shipping company that burns through employees like coal with the game of Magic the Gathering. Now, who is a spokesperson of Card Kingdom? Oh, uh, that's Command Zone, and that's Hilarion Community College. Uh, so the first letter, the first uh, top voted post is uh, Hope Command Zone reads this. Laugh out loud. Even if they write it, highly doubtful they addressed it. And while TCC, Hilarion Community College, seems to have no problem calling out Wizards of the Coast. I don't see them doing the same for Card Kingdom. They defended advertising a Ponzi scheme and better help. They don't give a shit money about money before values for them. Better help from anecdotal experience with my partner is an incredibly expensive shady therapist. Pure data my okay. Yeah, they are sponsors, money over value, of course. Or Magic the Gathering players, of course. 
Uh, preserve the OG in case of edits or retractions. Uh, you demand. Can't wait for here at Car Kingdom. We are shocked by these allegations. We consider our employees our family and hold their physical and mental health as sacred. Weirdly, I heard about this from Seattle Reddit before the Magic Community might be retaliation for unionizing or something. But yeah, I'm looking at into other distributors. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm the one who be, should be saying this because I own a business and that would sound kind of harsh. But if the employees are actively trying to destroy your company, your company's effed because you will make less money. Less money means that you have to fire more employees. And that means they will get even angrier and post more on Reddit. I think Card Kingdom is in a lot, a hell of trouble after the unionization. And I think uh, it should be pretty obvious why they would be in trouble. Um, there is a lot of people who are not going to buy from Card Kingdom after this post from the employee. So, and then the next time they say, oh, well, you know, we, we don't want to work overtime, so let's just sell less cards. And we sell less cards, no one has to work overtime. Solution solved, right? So, I don't really know what is happening here. Obviously, 99% of Magic players are going to support this because rarely do they ever actually have a job they have to work hard on. I work, you know, when I was during COVID, I was working 80, 90 hours a, a, a week for my company. Um, and I, I don't really know. Uh, so, I, like they said, before everyone gets on their high horses, since TCG player was sold to eBay, they are just as bad. Issue is people still treat CK like royalty despite a declining quality of service. So I've heard of this, you know, um, I had a friend do a buy list. I was like, all right, just buy this. I don't want to buy your collection. And he hadn't heard back in like two weeks. Like, did they receive the card? Tracking shows the card. I mean, it was, it was really, really interesting. Never liked Card Kingdom. Glad I never supported them. Good luck. But like this problem... So you, you have magic to people. This is like a typical reaction from a, it's got 115 upvotes on Reddit. Like my point is really, really obvious here is like this only happened recently. And now they're saying, oh, I never supported them. That's great. I, and a lot of this is um, union, right? So it, they, these are employees are a part of a union. Well, the reason that you're part of a union is so you can negotiate these things. Like, what was the point of having a union if you can't, if the union has no power to negotiate your PTO? I would imagine that's one of the most important things for them to do. You can renegotiate contracts. I mean, you can get a lawyer to do this. I mean, that's the whole point of a union. Like, I, I'm very confused, right? Like, why the union is not... Um, so obviously Reddit is definitely on team uh, team employee. Never ordering from them. Laugh out loud. Terrible prices too. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Interesting, right? Very interesting. 